phrasing, but a miracle one shook out late last year. One lucky Christmas morning, a volunteer of the theater gifted us with a record uh, shipped to us from Pennsylvania. And now we have a very own copy of L.A. Shake. Evans wasn't too far off with the whole Echo Park thing. I mean, first there's names like M. Haney, uh, Kelly Ford, Keith Johnston, even Echo Park Records, emblazoned all on the vinyl, giving a pinhole-sized beacon of light to figure out who made this thing. Months pass, and with an assist from the Bob Baker Marionette Theater and their network of friends and family, and a little bit of luck, the creators of this song were found. The trio behind the L.A. Shake all grew up in L.A., naturally. But these days, they're uh, a little spread out. One, for instance, lives in, uh, well, paradise. I live in Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm a songwriter and an artist and photographer. This is Marshall Haney, the songwriter of L.A. Shake. I just work on those particular creative aspects and go to the beach. He's 70 years old. I asked him to take me back to the creation of the L.A. Shake. And uh, he did take me back, but more than 40 years ago. The year, about 1980. Now, while Haney resides in Honolulu, he grew up in LA, went to college in San Bernardino, bounced around in different cities and states between jobs, colleges, ended up back in his apartment in Echo Park. He was uh, a little aimless at the time, working odd jobs here and there. But around 30-ish years old, he landed a gig that changed the course of his life basically a uh, Uber delivery guy. Made a lot of money. Start out in Universal City, Burbank, and you pick up five packages on the way to LAX. You get paid for five separate trips for making one. And so for me, it seemed like loads of money. But it wasn't, you know, just the dollar signs that kept Haney going. It was uh, the people around him that kept him interested in the job. You got to go to all the backstage scenes and you got to meet lots of famous people. As a flunky, you're just some guy with a package they got assigned for it, so they don't care anything about you. But, you know, it's pretty cool looking and shaking hands with these famous people. Barry Gordy's house with a box. Barbara Streisand's residence in Bel Air with the box. I get on the elevator and there's Ringo Starr and his wife, Barbara Bach, I think her name is. Just me and them. So naturally... If you're still living, your heart starts pounding and you're going, ah, ah, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? He never aspired to be a musician or famous, fancied himself more a a poet, a wordsmith. But, you know, maybe constantly rubbing shoulders with the music world did something. You see, Haney was heading home after a long day of delivering packages.